Could you be buying the wrong scallops? Could you accidentally be overcooking them? Are you seasoning them right? Don't ruin your savory seafood. Keep watching to learn what not to do with scallops. Here's the unfortunate truth. It can be difficult to find the right scallops when you go to the market. That's because many scallops out there have been treated with a chemical called sodium tripolyphosphate, or STP, according to Serious Eats. These scallops are often referred to as wet scallops because the chemical allows them to soak up a ton of water. Clearly, this isn't ideal when it comes to scallops you intend to sear, as too much moisture could prevent you from getting a nice golden brown crust. Additionally, it can add a soapy, unpleasant taste to your scallops. Since they have such a mild flavor anyway, that awful taste can be quite intrusive. Therefore, you're going to want to avoid these treated wet scallops when you go shopping. They may be more common, and they're almost guaranteed to be cheaper than the unadulterated alternative, but they will also be incredibly difficult to cook properly. You're better off forking out a bit more cash so you can get dry, unprocessed scallops. They will sear much more reliably, and they're going to taste way fresher and more delicious in general. If you've spent much time over the stove searing various meats, then you know that it's not always the easiest task. There are a few different factors that need to come together in order to really achieve that proper browned exterior. Perhaps the most significant factor? You can't have too much moisture in the pan, and that's not an exception when it comes to cooking scallops. If you're having a problem searing scallops well, there's an excellent chance it's because they're too wet. Of course, you should avoid buying scallops treated with STP, but that may not be enough to ensure the perfect sear. According to Quartz, in addition to buying dry scallops, you want to make sure you further dry them before throwing them into a pan. First, you should put them on a bed of paper towels to immediately soak up that extra moisture. Then, toss some salt on them and wait for about 15 minutes. Dry them off again, get your pan ready, and then throw them on. While this extra step may seem fussy and unnecessary, we guarantee that it's going to make a significant difference when you finally dig into your scallops. Bon appétit! Bon appétit! Not only should you think about whether you're buying wet or dry scallops, but you also want to make sure that you're getting fresh scallops if at all possible, according to The Spruce Eats. Fresh scallops tend to have a better flavor, and since they're already so light-tasting, this can make a significant difference. If you live on the East Coast or are in another region close to a source of scallops and you have a reliably good seafood market, you're definitely in luck. That's exactly where you should go to find your top-quality scallops. Of course, you will want to cook them ASAP to make sure they're as fresh as possible when you eat them. However, that does doesn't mean you should disregard frozen scallops in every case. If you don't live anywhere near the coast, you may be better off buying individually quick-frozen scallops instead of the fresh ones that have been sitting out for a few days at your grocery store's seafood counter. If you do buy frozen scallops, make sure you place them in the refrigerator overnight before you cook them. You don't want to defrost your scallops at room temperature. Sizzles. Ready for anything. We all love cooking our favorite foods in butter. It's creamy and rich and adds a delicious flavor that you can't get from cooking oil alone. However, as much as you may want to sear your scallops in butter, it's generally not the best idea. That's because, according to Serious Eats, the solids in the milk will burn when you place them on the high heat that is needed to properly sear a scallop. This can cause a burnt taste, and it might even leave little flecks of black over your otherwise perfect scallops. Instead of using butter, you're better off opting for an oil with a high smoke point, like vegetable or canola oil. These oils will allow you to get your pan nice and hot without an issue. Once the oil starts to smoke slightly, you can throw your scallops on. However, if you're intent on using butter, you do have options. Ghee or clarified butter are excellent alternatives for searing since they are free of milk solids. As with many types of seafood, one of the most horrific errors you can make is overcooking your scallops. Because scallops are incredibly light, delicate, and small, they're easy to overcook. And since some novice chefs are nervous when it comes to working with seafood, it makes sense that you'd want to carefully ensure that you're killing all harmful bacteria. However, if you leave your scallops on the stove for too long, you're almost guaranteed to get a rubbery mess for dinner. There's not a specific amount of time you should cook your scallops to ensure they come out perfectly, as that will largely depend on the size of the meat. However, Savory Experiments asserts that even the largest scallops shouldn't take any longer than two minutes per side if you have the burner on high. The best way to tell if your scallop is cooked to perfection? Keep an eye out for a nice crust to form. When it forms on one side, it's time to turn your scallop over. When the same thing happens on the other side, it's done. Don't leave it to sear for longer than that, or you're likely to overcook it. In most cases, you'll want to season your protein before you start cooking it. There are some exceptions, but scallops are not one of them. However, you'll want to make sure that you're careful with what kinds of seasoning you're applying to your scallops. 
For starters, you'll want to hit them with some salt and pepper before they go into the pan. Not only does salt help draw the moisture out, but it's also going to give you just enough flavor to take your scallops from bland to melt in your mouth delicious. Pepper adds even more dimension. At this point, you can add other coarse seasonings as you please, however, it's important to note that powdered spices and seasonings aren't the best options here. Why? As CT Post notes, searing scallops covered in powdered seasonings results in a kind of paste that will coat your seafood. This paste isn't too appetizing, and it doesn't even adequately season your scallops. If you want to add in extra flavor with powdered seasonings, just make sure you do that after you take your scallops off the heat. There are about a million different scallop recipes, many of which are absolutely delicious, and cultures around the globe all have their own ways of preparing this delicacy. However, in many cases, you're going to want to stick with lighter flavors when you're cooking with scallops. Since they are so light and delicate themselves, scallops can easily be overwhelmed by more powerful flavors. Therefore, a simple preparation is often the best route to take. Scallops pair well with spring vegetables like peas, which have a similarly delicate taste to them. They're also fantastic in butter and cream sauces. We love to eat our scallops with pasta in a buttery sauce, but they're amazing when prepared in a variety of different fashions. Of course, sometimes scallops can mix and mingle with more powerful flavors to great effect. Follow whatever recipe you have, but if you're preparing your scallops on a whim, you should probably not cover them in a sticky barbecue sauce. Just our take. You know how with some dishes, you can throw them around and give them a little wiggle or flip from time to time to ensure that nothing is burning and everything in the pan is cooking evenly? When it comes to scallops, this is not advisable. According to CT Post, after you throw them in the pan, you should just let them be. This will allow them to form that nice crust you're looking for. You, of course, are not going to want to keep lifting them up and checking them to see if they're ready. Instead, you should just keep a close eye on the bottom edge of the scallop. When it starts to turn brown and crispy, you're going to hold off for about 20 seconds. Then, you can finally flip your scallop. It can be difficult to be patient during this part of the process, but luckily, scallops do cook relatively quickly. Oh, yum! Searing is a go-to option for cooking scallops because it's easy, accessible, and it comes together in no time at all. Plus, who doesn't love the crispy crust that forms with a nice sear? But if that's the only way you've ever had your scallops before, you may want to try something different. If you have a grill available, spark it up and cook your scallops over the fire. The smokiness will add a lovely touch of flavor, and you can't beat the look of grill marks on your scallops. This is a solid idea for a summertime cookout if you want to offer something a little out of the ordinary in place of your typical hot dogs or hamburgers. It's also possible to steam your scallops. While this preparation may not be as flavorful, it's easy to pull off and makes it simple to whip up a healthy seafood meal to share with your family. Moral of the story? Don't be afraid to try new cooking techniques with your scallops. You may just be surprised at the delicious, unique dishes you can throw together when you think outside the box. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.